Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine image background and shadow options with Divi. So let's take a look at the final design that we'll be doing today. So here we can see this is our first image. It looks unique with these uh, options that we've added on the background. Moving on to the next one, we also have some box shadow uh, behind the image. Moving on to the next one, again here we've created this unique frame uh, around this main image. So again here on this image we've used our box shadows to create this unique looking border. And then finally we have this design that we have here. So this is what we'll be covering in today's tutorial. So all we're going to need here is images and the uh, dimensions for the image are 896 by 1000, but you can use any image size. This is only for this tutorial. And also, if you'd like to follow along step by step, I will also include the link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's get started and let me show you how we managed to create this. Okay, so let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm over here in my WordPress admin dashboard. So I'm gonna click on add new. So I'm just gonna call this box shadows, but you can call this whatever you want. Click on use the Divi Builder, use Visual Builder. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and add our columns. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, add our two columns. So for now, I'm just gonna close this go to your row settings and then click on background so for our first background color i'm going to click this plus button to add my color now my color is going to have transparency so what i'm going to do is to drag the slider down a little bit and then add all my digits within the brackets like this okay so next let's go to the design tab and add some margins so let's click on spacing and then for the margin top i'm going to add 200 and then for the custom padding of column one, I'm going to add 150. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. And then I'm going to add an image module onto my first column. So I'm going to click this plus button here, search for my image module, select it, click upload, upload files. So what I'm going to do is all the all the images that are that I'm going to use in this tutorial are all in my downloads folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of them and just add them onto my media library. So by doing so, it saves me time going back and forth, uploading each and every image. Okay, so my image that I'm gonna use is already selected. So all I have to do now is to click on upload image. And now we have it. So next we are going to change the width of our image module. So I'm gonna come over here to design, click on sizing, and we're gonna change this from, from 100 to about 94. So next we're gonna come over here to spacing and make sure show space below the image is selected and then we're gonna add our custom margins. So for the margin top, I'm gonna to add 150 and for margin left, I'm gonna add minus 110. So you can see that by adding our negative margins, this has moved our main image, now revealing what we have here behind it. Now let's add our box shadow. So I'm going to come over here, click on box shadow, and this is the one we're going to, we are going to select. So I'm going to click on it. So you can see as soon as I've applied it, it's now here in the background. So now to achieve our style, what we need to do is to play around with the, uh, with the box shadow positioning. So you can see here as I'm scrolling uh, to the right, this is now moving. So this is what we're trying to achieve. So the first uh, horizontal position is going to be 80 pixels. Okay, so for our box shadow vertical position, this is again going to be 80 pixels. Blur strength, let's leave that at uh, zero pixels. Now let's move on to the uh, shadow color. So I'm gonna click here and add my my values in the, within the brackets like that. Okay, so this is looking good so far. Now, what we need to do next is to save this and take a look at um, this design in mobile view. So I'm gonna save this for now. Come over here to the bottom, click my smartphone so now we can see that in this phone view uh, these shapes are not positioned very well so let's go ahead and fix that so let me go back here to my desktop view go back into my image module click advanced visibility so what we need to do now is to disable this on the phone so by doing this now, it means that this can be only seen on tablets and desktops. And then in our next step, I'm going to design the separate phone view. 
which will be disabled from the uh, tablet and the desktop. Okay, so I'm going to save this for now and then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and duplicate the whole section like that. And then I'm going to go into my module settings. Click on design, box shadow. So all we have to do here is to change this to 33. And then here we're going to change this to 78. Okay, so let's come over here to our spread strength and let's set this to 6 like that and then for our background color I'm just gonna click this area here and add my color in here like that and by the way if you'd like to use all the settings that we're using throughout this tutorial you can go to the post which I'll link to in the show notes below and then finally let's go to the advanced tab and disable this design that we've just made for the tablet and the desktop so that means that uh, all the viewers to our website will not see this design here that we've just completed on their desktop or tablets In, instead they'll see the top one which is well positioned and if they view this on a mobile device or a phone they will see this one which is which have just which we've just designed so let's cycle through these one more time so here we can see that this looks fine on the tablet view but if i click on the mobile view this top one is disabled and the bottom one is enabled and this now looks nice it's no more overlapping into this area now it's time to move on to our second design so I'm gonna save and go back to my desktop view so next I'm gonna add a new section for our second example so I'm gonna come over here to my wireframe view click this icon here to add our regular section like that and again we're gonna use two columns so I'm going to close this for now and go into our row settings. So I'm just going to go into my desktop view, click on my row settings, background. So here in the background, we're going to use a linear gradient. So I'm going to click the second tab, click the plus button. And then here we're going to add our first color and uh, it's going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to paste my values within the brackets like that. Click on my second color. Now my second color is going to be transparent. So again, I'm going to reduce these sliders so I can add my values like that. Okay, so that's looking good. So next for our gradient type, we need to make this radial. Okay, so for next for our start position, we're going to set this to 50. And for our end position, we're going to do the same, set this to 50%. Next, let's go to the design tab and make this row full width so i'm going to click on sizing and then activate make this row full width like that right next let's go to spacing and uh, for column two padding i'm going to add 200 to the top and then i'm going to go ahead and save now it's time to add our image so i'm going to come over here and add my image module so i'm going to click this plus button here select my uh, search for my image module and then click upload so the image I'm going to use for this is, is this one. Click on upload an image. Next, we're going to come over here to design. Click on spacing. Making sure that show image below, show space below image is selected. So let's add 30 to the top, right, bottom and left. Next, let's add our box shadow. So I'm going to click on the box shadow. And the one we're going to use here is the second one. So I'm going to click on our preset. So for our horizontal position, we're going to start, we're going to leave this at zero. And for our vertical position, two is fine. So for our blur strength, we're going to set this to 56. Next for our box shadow strength, let's set this to 12 pixels like that. And then I'm going to come over here to show color and I am going to add my values within the brackets for my color. And then finally, to complete our design, all we have to do is to clone this image and drag it over here to the right side. So I'm going to click this clone button. And then I'm just going to drag my image over here like that. And then I'm going to go into the image settings and change our image. So the image we need for that is this one. Click upload an image and our design is complete. Okay, so let's save and move on to the next one. 
Okay, so I'm going to create a new section. It's going to be a regular section and a single row. And then I'm going to upload my image. Select my image and click on upload an image. So now we have our image. So let me go ahead now and save and let's go to our row settings and make some customization. So I'm going to click on this row settings icon, click on background. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and add my background color. Again, it's going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to paste my values here within the brackets and paste them and paste them like that. So let's save for now and let's go back to our image module. Click on the settings. And then I'm going to come over here to background. Click my gradient and I'll click our plus button to add our first color. So I'm going to paste my first color in here like that. Go to the second tab. Now this is going to be an RGBA value. So as before, I'm just going to paste my value within the brackets like that. So we are going to leave the gradient type and the direction at linear and 180 degrees. And then for the start here, we're going to add 50. And for the end position, it's going to be 50% like that. So you can see that at the moment I've just added that, we now have this design be behind this image. Now let's go and add the border. So I'm going to come over here to my design tab, click on border. Now, to, in order for us to customize this, we have to make sure that use border is set to yes. And for our border color, we're going to use black. And then for the width, we're going to use three. Next, let's come over here to the sizing and adjust our width for our image module. So here, I'm going to change this to, to 85. Like that. And then I'm going to come over here, click this little icon to adjust our size on the um, smartphone. So on the smartphone, it's going to be set to 100. And we're going to do the same for the tablet. Fantastic. Next, let's come over here to spacing. And for the margin left, I'm going to add 80. And then for the smartphone, I'm going to set this to 0. And for the tablet, I'm going to set this to 0 too like that. And then next I'm going to add my custom padding and this is going to be 30 on the top, right, bottom and left. Finally, let's adjust our box shadow. So I'm going to click here on the box shadow. So we're going to select this one here. Okay, so here we're going to leave the top here, the, the box shadow horizontal to zero, vertical zero. And then the blur strength, we're going to bring it down to zero two. But for the um, box shadow spread strength, we're going to set this to 39. Next, let's add our box shadow color. So I'm going to come over here and paste my and paste my color within the brackets like that. Scroll all the way here to the bottom, and we're going to change the box shadow position to outer shadow like that. And then let's go ahead and save. Okay, so that's our final design. Let's move on to the final one. So let's click this plus button here to add a new section. It's going to be a regular section. Okay, so we're going to add two columns like that. And then in the first one, we're going to add an image, an image module. So I'm going to search for it like that. Select image. And then I'm going to come over here to background. Click on the linear, gra uh, linear gradient. Plus button, add my first color. So here, my first color is going to be an RGBA value. So again, I'm going to paste this within the brackets like that. Move on to the next color. Paste within the brackets. And then here, we're going to use a linear, uh, linear type gradient. And here, we're going to change this to 134. And then for the start position, we're going to set this to 55. And for the end position, again, this is going to be 55. In fact, let's change this gradient direction to 138, like that. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Now, let's go to design and adjust our custom padding. So let's go to spacing. And then for our padding, we're going to add 30 to the right and 30 to the bottom. 
Okay, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and save and let's add another image module below the first one. So I'm going to click this plus button here, search for my image module and select it. So here I'm going to come to the background and add my background color. Now let's add our margin. So I'm going to click here onto the design tab, click on spacing. And for the top margin, this is going to be minus 250. So we might as well adjust these margins for the tablet and mobile view. So I'm going to click this little icon here. And for the tablet, we're going to set this to 150, minus 150. And for the smartphone, we are going to set this to minus 100. Like that. Let's go back to our desktop view. So here for the right margin, it's going to be minus 150. And for the tablet, this is going to be set to zero. And for the smartphone, again, this is going to be zero. So let's go back to our desktop uh, view. And then for our margin left, this is going to be set to 150. And that's it. Now it's time to add our padding. So for our top, we're going to set this to 30. And for the left, we're going to also set this to 30. Like that. Now, before I add my box shadow, let me add the images first. So I'm going to click this save button here, and then I'm going to come back here and add my images. So for me to view this clearly, I'm going to come over here to my wireframe view, click on the image settings, upload my image. And this is going to be my first image. I'm going to click upload an image, save this for now, come over here, click the image settings again for the second one, click upload. And then I'm going to set my second image, click upload an image, save. And now I'm going to go back to my desktop view and take a look at our images. So here, this is what we have so far in our design. So now it's time to go in and add our box shadows. So I'm going to select my image settings, click on design box shadow. And we are going to use the second one here and for our box shadow horizontal position, a zero is fine. And here for the vertical, let's set this to two. Right, so over here on the spread strength, let's set this to 24. And for the blur strength, let's bring this down to zero because we don't need the blur for this one. Now let's add our shadow color. So I'm gonna come over here and add my color. And this time this is going to be a solid color. And then finally, let's make sure that we leave this at outer shadow. And then that's all we have to do and go ahead now and save. So this is now our final design. And then one more time, let's take a look at our designs. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.